Beyonce who? Solange who? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on how I get all of my big hair under a wig. I got this wig and I posted a picture in it and all of y'all seem to love it. Y'all are making me want to dye my hair, cut my hair, which I won't cut my hair, but y'all are making me want to. Like, it's just a whole new jazz meme right here. But a ton of y'all asked for me do a video on how I get all my hair under this wig. Like, what is what is it? Where is it at? Where is my hair? It's under here. It is deep under this fluffiness. So if you wanna see how I prep my hair for a wig, then this is the video for you, and you keep on watching, and you'll know. But first, before we get started, let me know in the comments if you like this hair color on me, or if you like black more. I wanna know. Cause I'm, I'm kind of living for the color. I used to have my hair colored this color a long time ago. Now I miss it. So yeah, y'all let me know in the comments. And also, while you're there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and a thumbs up. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, let me quit talking. And if you wanna see how I did this, then keep on watching and let's get started. Okay, so I just washed my hair. I always have to wash my hair or at least just wet my hair and comb it out before I put this wig on because my hair is huge y'all know this but when it is wet and combed out it's not huge it's like very thick still but my hair goes from this to this really quick with some water so yeah hair this is this is the reason why i'm able to put a wig on is because my hair gets tiny when it's wet so that's a good thing so i like to put my hair in braids Whenever I do put the wig on, I like to do them an easy way that I can actually wear without the wig. So I'm just gonna part my hair right down the middle. I have to do at least four braids. If I do two braids, you'll be able to see it because my hair is so thick and the braids stick out so much. So I have to do at least four and I think I'm gonna do four today as well. So when I braid my hair, I don't like parting it like this like one there and then one here. I like doing it a diagonal. It's just easier for me to braid for some reason. And the part is way easy to do and it you don't have to make sure if it's even or anything because it looks good no matter what. So I just go ahead and part at an angle all the way back. There we go, so that's how the part's gonna be for this one. Pull the rest of my hair out of the way and then we're gonna start braiding. So I already have like leave-in conditioner and all that in my hair. Um, I don't really put a lot of products in my hair because I don't need a lot of products unless my hair is gonna be down and out and I want it to look good. I don't like to waste my products on braids. I just make sure it's moisturized and then that's good. That's good enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a regular um, cornrow braid down this part. And then I just like to braid my hair down as far to the end as possible. It doesn't really matter if it's all the way down, but I just like to keep it braided and out of the way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave a little bit out. And then I'm gonna do that with the other parts of my hair. Just repeat that same step. Braids are so quick and easy to do too. So I can easily, if I don't wanna do my hair, I can easily just braid it really quick and it'll take me probably a good 10 to 15 minutes to do four braids maybe and then throw on that wig and it looks like I did my hair for the day. Oh, okay, so got half of it done. Now it's time to do the other half. Well then, that was easy. All right, so next step, got all my hair braided. My parts aren't perfect, but it's okay. You're not gonna see it. My ends look crusty because I didn't curl them, but it's okay. The next step that I do is I get some bobby pins. 
Um, and then I go ahead and get one braid at a time. So I'm gonna get this braid on one on the furthest side, go around, pull it up here, and I'm gonna bobby pin it down right here. I usually do two bobby pins to make like an X or it'll fall out. Just like this, like the heck, that bobby pin just shot right out. There we go, I usually do an X and then I go ahead and get the one on the other side. Go up and do the same thing. There we go. My hair is all pinned up. This is what it looks like. So now that all my hair is up and out of the way, I go ahead and get a wig cap. Um, you don't have to use one. I only use one because sometimes the clips in the wig um, get stuck on my braids and I like, pull out the hair like of the braid. And if I don't want it to mess up my braids, then I'll go ahead and do this. So I'm just gonna get this little wig cap, put it over my braids. And also you gotta be careful because of the bobby pins. Like some of my bobby pins just fell out. But it's okay because the wig cap is keeping my braids in now, so we're good. Now it's time for the wig. So this right here is my dearest wig. I don't have very many wigs. I don't wear wigs because Basically, I feel like I can't wear a wig because my forehead is so small. And if I do wear a wig, the wig has to be black because all of my edges show still in the wig. And then you can always see the lace because my forehead is so small and my hairline is super low. So, but this wig right here is good because it's like, I don't know what it's called, like a 360 wig maybe? I don't know, it doesn't have any lace in it. It has like this headband material. Um, yeah, I don't know. And it has bangs so it covers my forehead so I don't have to worry about none of that lace showing or any of that or my black hairs. <laughs> I'm super excited because I love this color hair first off. I used to have my hair this color years ago when I was in high school, senior in high school. And I graduated in 2013 so that was a while ago. And this was like my favorite hair color ever that I ever got. If I could go back to this, I definitely would. I mean, if I could find somebody that could do my hair and dye it all this color, catch me with this color hair. What do y'all think? But yeah, so this is the wig. It's, um, it's actually, the curl pattern of this actual hair is naturally like my hair pattern, but I went ahead, they curl it for you, but they were really big curl, so I washed it and I redid it, and I got like with the smallest curling iron, and I curled every bit of this. And then I picked it out with a comb and a pick to brush it out to look more natural. And that's how I get all the volume. So I go ahead and get this wig. It has a little uh, headband strap thing right here. The clip in the back goes to the back and then the ones with no clips go in the front. So I just go ahead and get this. I put it to the back of my head and then I pull the wig over and then I go ahead and pull the wig over on my little braids, shove them braids in there. And then, pretty much it's as easy as that. So the wig actually looks like it has a headband right here. That's the one thing that I didn't know about. So like if the wind blows, like people will be like, what is that? But actually, it just looks like a headband. I don't know, but I keep them down and it stays on tight on my head. Like I can flip around and do back loops and everything and then it'll stay on. So I just get a comb like this or a pick like this. This this is the pick right here. And I just go ahead and pick it out because I like the top to be like up there. I want it up here. And these curls are still kind of fresh. I feel like whenever they get a little bit more old, it'll look better, like more frizzy. Oh, I love frizzy hair. And I just like to shake it up. And there we go. <laughs> Here is the wig on my head. This is how I get wigs on my hair. If I had any other wigs, this is exactly how I would do it. I would do it just like this as well. 
Um, this wig, you have a little bit more leeway because if your braids are bulky or if the wig is straight, you'll be able to see your braids more, but this wig is super curly, so, so you're way more free on how you put your hair underneath this wig. But yeah, this wig is so cute. Makes me want to dye my hair. Imagine my long, big hair this color. Oh, I want it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how I get my big old hair under a wig. This is how. So if you got big hair too, and you've been wanting to put on a wig, well there you go. Now you can also put a wig on that big hair of yours. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And don't forget to hit that bell button over there so you know when I upload and you're notified. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next upload. Ooh. 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 Ooh.